Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen, and welcome back to Papa Boris's Short Hearthstone Guides. In this video, I'd like to answer something that has been confounding Hearthstone players pretty much since the game has been in closed beta, and that is, well, what exactly happens if I'm already at 10 mana crystals and I get more mana? Now, this comes up most likely if you've got Wild Growth. This is a druid spell that gives you an empty mana crystal. In Hearthstone, the maximum number of mana crystals you can have is 10. So, what if you're already at 10 and you play Wild Growth? Well, what's going to happen then is that you're going to get a card in your hand called Excess Mana. It's a zero mana spell whose effect is draw a card. So, bottom line, when you play Wild Growth and you're already at 10 mana, you're going to get to draw a card instead of getting an empty mana crystal. Makes sense, right? You can't use the mana crystal, so you're going to get the mana. Now, the human brain is a wonderful and complicated and fascinating organ, and human beings have a tendency to see patterns even when patterns aren't there. We have a tendency to assume that the things that we observe are part of a broader rule. So when people see wild growth, and when they learn that casting it at 10 mana gives you an extra card rather than giving you a mana crystal, they assume that other mana granting effects have the same effect. For example, Innervate, gain two mana crystals. Will that give you two cards? Nourish, you can choose to do this to gain two mana crystals as well. Will that give you two cards? If your opponent plays an Arcane Golem, whose battle cry is give your opponent a mana crystal, will that give you an extra card? The answer to all of these questions is no. And the reason for that is that Wild Growth specifically gives you an empty mana crystal. So if you get an empty mana crystal, that is when you get an extra card. Innervate, Arcane Golem, and Nourish all specify mana crystals. Not empty, but regular old mana crystals. So those from Nourish and from Innervate can actually be used that turn. For example, if you play Innervate when you're at 10 mana, you can actually use 12 mana that turn. If you play Nourish when you're at 10 mana, you're a moron, because you're going to get two mana crystals back, but you, but you spent five to cast Nourish, so that's not good. You should, pro tip, draw three cards when you're at 10 mana and you're playing Nourish. And then with the Arcane Golem, well, it's during your opponent's turn, so you kind of have a mana crystal, then it goes away once it gets into your turn, so you pretty much get nothing if your opponent uses an Arcane Golem when you're already at 10. People, I've seen people sometimes say this, I've actually seen it be said in the comments of my own videos. If you hold on to the coin until turn 10, it gives you an extra card. No, it doesn't. If you hold on to the coin until turn 10, and you play it then, you're going to have 11 mana to use on that turn. So the bottom line is, Wild Growth is the only mana granting card currently in the game that, if you are already at 10 mana, gives you a card draws you a card from the deck rather than giving you the mana. Every other mana granting effect, be it Innervate, Golem, Nourish, the coin, every other effect simply gives you mana that you can tempor temporarily use that turn, and if you don't use it, it's gone, but you may in some cases, like with Innervate notably, have use for more than 10 mana in a single turn, and that's what those cards are good for. So please remember that, folks. Only Wild Growth draws you a card. The other things just give you mana, even if you're already at 10 mana. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please like it, and please, if you would be so kind, subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that tremendously. And I'll see you back here soon for some more gameplay videos and some more Hearthstone guides. Till then.